Hey guys, Remote Animation here and welcome to the third episode of the Beginner Tutorial Series. And in this video, we're going to be talking about modeling. And the first thing we need to look at is the object mode. And we can select this by clicking on the button at the bottom left of the screen. And Prisma 3D is normally set to this by default and we've been using this since the first episode of the series. So we should already have a general idea of how that works. So the first main tool of modeling is the face tool and we can use this to edit faces of models using the controllers like the move, scale and rotate. And the first tool under the face select is the extrude tool and this is very easy to use because all you have to do is to click on the face you want to extrude then touch the extrude button and drag outwards. Another way to use the extrude tool to make hollow objects is to extrude a face then make sure it remains at the same level. And once the face is back to its original level, you scale the face a little bit to give the wall some thickness then you extrude downwards. And you can use this extrude tool in many other ways to make more complex shapes. The next tool is the knife cut and it basically makes a cut along any selected face. And to use this, you first select the tool, then you draw a line across the screen. And also, try to remember that these tools also work with multi-select. And the next tool is the loop cut and you can use this to make cuts that stretch around selected models. And for more precision when using this tool, try to remember that everything is inverted. So if you want a horizontal cut, you touch a vertical line. And if you want a cut that stretches vertically, you touch a horizontal line. There are only two tools under the line select, which are the connect face and the fill gap. And using this line connect tool, you can make a face between two lines. The fill gap also works in a similar method, but all you have to do is select one line and use the tool. And lastly we have the vertex select and there are no tools under this except the delete vertex. And one thing you should know is that if you want to go into the 2D view all you have to do is to double tap the screen with two fingers. And you can only navigate in the 2D view using two fingers because if you use one finger it will simply switch back to the 3D view. And to put everything we've covered into use, we're going to model a simple cup. And to do this, we're going to use a cylinder. And we're going to select all the inner faces at the top of the mesh. Then we're going to scale that out and take it up a bit to have a nice curve. Then we're going to extrude that down a bit and scale it a little bit to add to the nice curve effect. Even if it's not actually curved, Prisma 3D default shader would make it appear smoother than it actually is. And now we're going to work on the external part of the cup to add to the curve effect. The modeling basics tutorial actually ends here because everything I'll be doing from this point onwards will only be explained in a future tutorial. To make the final render look better, I went ahead to add in some soft lights and modeled in a spoon to place by the side.
Then I put some liquid in the cup, added in a light so we'll have something to reflect, then added in some particles. 